Hey guys, welcome back to another AMC video. In this video, I want to quickly cover about something and it's in regards to the famous day on January the 27th where AMC traded over 1.253 billion volume. As you guys can, can see up here, if I hover over this, 1.253 billion volume. Now, the reason why I want to quickly make a video about this is because everyone has some confusion in terms of the outstanding shares and the actual volume of AMC. Now, I want to quickly just get this over and done with with a paint just to make it very simple to understand. And then we we'll obviously talk about more about AMC and the opportunity it has upcoming. So firstly, what is actually volume? Well, volume simply put can just be described like this. If someone were to buy a share, buy one singular share, it is a plus one on the volume. And if someone were to sell a share, it will be a minus one on the volume, right? And so combined, this is obviously, oh, sorry, plus one. And so combined, this will just be a plus two. That is pretty much how volume works. And so what we saw there was just people buying and selling um, a crazy amount of times, which accumulated to 1.253 um, billion volume. A lot of people were confused because of the outstanding shares of AMC. So they're saying that it's impossible and that there is a kind of um, synthetic shares, which again, I'm not actually arguing that that is not why I'm arguing with, but I do want to make it clear that that doesn't actually have anything to do with the outstanding shares, but rather people was buying and selling, which accumulated to the volume. Now, what that volume can actually prove is kind of the high frequency trading that is done by hedge funds. Now comment down below guys, if you could think there is synthetic shares and if you think high frequency trading is what hedge funds use to kind of take money off of us. Um, again, I'm not arguing against any of this. If anything, I think that there are synthetic shares for AMC. And I do think that high frequency trading is a strategy that they are using right now, especially to take money from the retail traders. High frequency trading uh, is able to do multiple things and they have access to the data which we don't, which puts us at a disadvantage. And again, is why hedge funds normally have a 90% win rate, whereas kind of retail traders only 10% succeed. You guys can obviously work out the difference in that. And, but for AMC right now, you know, despite the fact we don't have high frequency trading, despite the fact we don't have all of the data they have, we can still work together. And with AMC right now, the opportunity with AMC is pretty much um, where we're sitting at right now. So today we are up plus 0.69%. Um, a very mean percent, but you know, we are sitting above 14.5, which is actually a support for AMC right now. Now, this is actually extremely good because just recently we broke, broke below it, but now instantly we are back up. Now, being back up here actually gives us very good confirmation that AMC is going to do well and it's going to have bullish momentum going into the future. The reason why I say this is because of the fact that. 1450 was um, before the resistance, as you guys can see um, over here. So we've, when we first broke below it, you guys can see it tapped and we broke below it. And then here, the day we broke above, we went down instantly. We tapped again here. We came close to reaching it here. We came close to reaching it here. And then we saw the resistance here before breaking in and then just breaking below, right? So multiple points suggesting that this is a resistance. And so when we are able to break a resistance, this resistance then becomes a support. And right now we can see we are actually supporting it here. Now, this is all very good because this is what we want to exactly see. Recently, AMC had a very nice run and we marked it out in the video pretty much talking about how everyone should have a buy signal around um, this area here. You guys would have made a 50% um, AMC, but again, this is just to make money short term, but also to hold on to more shares. You know, everyone wants to catch on to the squeeze for AMC, but they want to make sure they can maximize their gain. So average cost down at the lowest price is the best thing. And at that point, that was the best thing. And then, you know, one of the reasons why we saw a decline was firstly, the market also had a mini pullback. RSI was just above um, 17 mini, it was overbought. So it was very normal to see this pullback. But this pullback is actually good because again, you know, in order for us to go up again, we do need to see a pullback, but we need to pull back and actually settle at a higher price. So whereas before we couldn't break above the 1450, now we are actually above the 1450. So if we hold this area, pretty much the movement we are going to be seeing is really, so this is kind of the movement we are seeing right now. It's going to be bouncing to that next level at 2036. The 50 MA is slowly moving up, meaning we will have a support with the 50 MA. People tend to trade the MA as a support. And so 
you know, all of these things is really leading for AMC to go up to that 20.36 level. If we look at kind of the market structure from before from AMC, you can see that there's pretty much not that much significant levels. You know, maybe you could argue that, um, you know, this particular level right now will be acting as a resistance when we do get up to that area. If we go before, you can see that area maybe, and you could argue that this was an area, but pretty much there is no significant market structure level where it would kind of stop us from AMC, apart from the fact that if it goes into an overbought condition, which is entirely different in terms of facing a resistance. And so AMC right now is doing very well. Well, anyway guys, that's it for the video. I just want to quickly cover it up. I'll catch you guys next time.